up guys back again with another pickups video uh, unfortunately we weren't able to do uh, a group hunt this weekend um, you know everybody had uh, you know family functions or uh, fam you know family functions mainly and so you know family comes first um, but we are going to try to do another group hunt probably in about two weeks um, me between me <clears throat> Syphic and Air Force Shields and maybe two other guys uh, maybe three actually so it's, <laughs> it's gonna be six people maybe um, don't want to say who who it is yet um, until things get more uh, finalized um, but let me start off with a couple of things I got uh, first I got in a trade from Air Force Shields uh, we traded for I think it was a Metroid trilogy for the Wii and uh, I'm adjust this camera real quick but um, as in the previous hunt I found uh, you know the Metroid trilogy and after I had bought it you know he asked me you know if I was gonna keep it or not and I'm like you know what I'm probably gonna sell it or trade it so he's like well I might have a game you might want uh, you have Parasite Eve 2 I'm like you know what no I don't that's the one I'm looking for kind of having a hard time finding it and if I do find it on eBay and it ends up going for over you know forty dollars so he said he had an extra one or his friend had an extra one so he you know he owed him some uh, you know some games or something so he got it for me so we traded and uh, I think for some cash uh, but I finally got a copy of a Parasite Eve 2 it's in actually in really really uh, good condition I would want to say it's in mint uh, maybe a couple of small there's a little hairline there uh, scratch uh, but it is complete both discs are there including manual manual uh, there's a kind of a fold in the middle but that's that's okay I probably flatten it out uh, but not bad uh, again real big thanks uh, Air Force uh, thanks for the hookup bro so I got that in uh, and also you may have seen uh, Cyphic hooked me up with uh, Saga Frontier. Uh, fortunately, he said the one that he got didn't have that uh, complete manual. It only had the front cover. Uh, but I ended up finding one off of Yardsailor.com. Um, I got it, I think it was like for $2. Uh, but it is, this one is complete. Um, it's kind of hard to pull it out. Uh, but it is a full manual. It's not just the front sheet. So this is a complete manual. So now I got Saga Frontier complete. Um, uh, again, real big thanks to Cyphic for that hookup. Uh, let's see. I also got another game off of uh, Yardsailor.com, and that is finally a black label copy of uh, Final Fantasy Tactics. Uh, it's not in the best condition, unfortunately. Well, unfortunately, the uh, hack tab is broken, but uh, the disc does have some swirl marks. Uh, I'm sure it'll play fine. I can probably get that buffed out, but I need, really need to replace the case on this one. Um, so again, um, this one I got uh, off a of yard sale. I think it was, I only ended up paying like $4 for it. Because uh, I had those photon funds or whatever, I don't know what they're called, but it's basically cash. Uh, you collect it as you view the site or something like that. Uh, these next ones I got uh, last week. And this week I got all these at um, at my favorite uh, store, and um, five five bucks a piece. Um, there's one I'm gonna show at the end, and uh, kind of a funny story. I already told Cyphic uh, and uh, I think Cyphic and Air Force and Cynical and my I told them about the story. But anyways, I found Worms 3D for the GameCube, which I believe it's a rare title. Uh, I looked it up on uh, racketboy.com and it's considered it's not valuable but it's rare uh, I think it's like 78% rarity uh, it's in pretty good condition uh, not bad for five bucks you know couldn't leave it there I already have the other worms game so not bad five bucks for worms back this up and the next game I got for five was or is kingdom's heart uh, it is complete and it might be a little bit better condition than my game um, there's a couple of light scratches on the disc itself uh, but the outer case and the cover art is in much better condition than mine 
Oh, sorry about the uh, glare. Uh, but mine kind of has like uh, small water damage in the bottom of it. So I end up switching out maybe just the outer case or something or the, the cover it for that. <laughs> and let's see, the next stuff I got at, um, excuse me, at a uh, book off. Uh, yeah, these things. <laughs> I had to look at what I had uh, gotten. I uh, got this today. Uh, for the Game Boy, I got uh, Kirby's Dream Land. Uh, pretty good condition. It was the only good title uh, that was $5. Uh, you know, unless it's uh, Pokemon or, or uh, Mario, uh, you know, everything is 5 bucks. But only Pokemon and Mario, again, are 20 bucks or more. Uh, and the next two things I got, um, complete with the covers. Unfortunately, the batteries are dead. Um, there are VMUs for the Dreamcast. Um, I have about, let's see, one, two, three of the blue ones and one clear smoke one. Uh, I don't have any of the white originals, uh, but I saw that they also had a green one. And I don't have a green one, so I ended up picking this up also. So not bad. Uh, these are $3 a piece, so couldn't leave them there, you know, uh, especially since they're complete with the covers. That I know these get lost easily. Um, and there is one more game which I'm going to show at the end. Uh, as I mentioned earlier, I, um, Air Force, Cynical, and Syphic know about that story. Funny story, too. But um, went to the swap meet, and I went to the, you know, up to the front to the, the guy I like to call the junk man, and he didn't have any anything today. All he had was mostly clothes and a couple of bins of like bags and stuff. So went straight to the back. Uh, first stand I hit, or actually the second stand I hit up, and I found uh, Star Wars Knights of the Old Republic 2 uh, for five bucks. Uh, pretty good condition, actually their disc is in even better shape <laughs> than what I got from uh, Air Force. There's like no scratches on it whatsoever. Pretty good mint condition. Uh, the only thing is that the, uh, the guide itself, and what I liked about it, it came complete with the registration card. Uh, the only bad thing about it is that the uh, manual has is messed up right here, and I think that's because uh, it ends up sliding out and it hits right here on the uh, on the inside spine part. And so uh, I'm trying to try to flatten this out a little bit more and see if I can get it in a better shape. Uh, I don't really think I've ever seen any uh, guides on eBay for cheap. If they want, you know, don't, um, this game goes for thirty or more, so not bad. You know, five dollars. Um, put that back there and uh, let's see I also got another um, VMU well, unfortunately no cover again dead battery but uh, this one was only a dollar fifty so you know three bucks dollar fifty not bad I mean I'd rather pay that than you know I think it goes for like five or more up to ten bucks for those uh, VMUs uh, second to last is a uh, action replay for the Game Boy Advance um, I got this, uh, I noticed that it was on the ground, and I, I thought at first this was for the regular Game Boy, uh, but looking it up online, it's not, it only works for the Game Boy Advance. Uh, I already tried it out, it works, unfortunately there's no saves on it, so I unfortunately don't know how you put stuff into it, or codes, or anything like that, so, but not bad, I mean, you know, something to put in the collection, or maybe ended up, you know, selling it or something, I'm not sure yet. Um, in the last game... Uh, that I'm going to show. Um, they almost didn't want to sell it to me. Um, sorry about that. Um, I seen it there. It was behind a counter, but they had a big old uh, posted on there and it had a, a question mark pointing you down to what it said on the bottom. And it's one that I traded away to Johnson Boba, which he just put up a video. By the time I put this up, it might be yesterday's video. Uh, but I found, like I said, I made a trade with him for uh, Ark the Lad collection. Uh, I traded him three games, and so far I already got one of the three games, and now I got two of the three games. The third one's going to be the hardest one to get back, but most likely I'm going to get rid of that system. Um, and the game that I got that they didn't want to sell to me, but I ended up getting it, um, is Zelda: The Legend of Zelda Collector's Edition. Uh, disc is in really good condition. Manuals in perfect condition. It's almost mint. Um, 
no scratches on it whatsoever uh, the last one I had I think it was almost in good condition also the only thing is that there's like indentations on the cover as you can see uh, and that's not the plastic that's the actual paper cover but not bad um, again the manager did not want to sell me this game originally the cashier didn't want to sell it to me because it says uh, not for resale and you know the manager knows me the, the people there already know me at this uh, at this store and he didn't want to sell it to me and I said well what are you gonna do with it and he's like well I'm gonna throw it away and I'm like well then can I have it then if you're gonna throw it away it's like no I can't I can't give it to you it's like well then let me buy it it's like no I can't sell it to you either and like well <laughs> so you're gonna throw it away but you won't let me have it for free and you can't sell it so you won't let me buy it so you're just gonna throw away a you know a perfectly you know good game and the disc is in mint condition I mean I, I just I was amazed how uh, in great condition um, so I kind of talked to him a little bit more and you know I told him hey you know I buy I buy from here a lot you see me here almost every other week or every other three days and I always buy games from you you know you know can I please buy it <laughs> and he's like no 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 I can't I can't sell it to you I'm sorry so sorry okay fine um, after about maybe two minutes or three minutes he comes he comes back around and he's like okay um i can sell it to you but you know like in 10 minutes and i'm like well you know i'm gonna take off right now i i, I you know can i just buy it and he's like okay uh wait a second and he turned around and he looked at the ladies weren't looking he's like okay he goes but don't tell nobody so it's between us guys you know don't tell nobody that i bought this game uh <laughs> he didn't want you know he's like okay i'll sell it to you you know for uh, five dollars so, okay not bad I'll, I'll buy it for five bucks i'll buy it i'll buy any zelda game that's a collector's edition for five bucks all day every day um so i got it i mean it took a little persuasion uh waited him out and so he finally said okay fine i'll sell it to you for five bucks and this thing goes for i want to say conservatively at the lowest maybe 35 bucks at the most maybe 50. Uh, i'm not too sure about the 50 but i know it goes for about 30 to 40 dollars and let me see if I can pull out the game real quick. Uh, let me take a quick, quick, quick pause and I'll show you the game. It's funny because I had seen this at Book Off and I got it for five bucks. And I had seen it today uh, and it want 25 bucks. So hold on. All right, back again. Um, took me a while to find it. It was in the bottom of my uh, game area. So this game that I got for five bucks. Like I think last week, um, and I already have it in its own uh, little protective uh, slip cover thing. Um, I seen it there today again at, uh, at the other store at the one at the mall, which I don't really like going there. But unfortunately, they always have the best games there, but not for the best prices. They always want twenty bucks or more, which is what you can get them for at on eBay for cheaper or at the same price, and you don't have to leave the comfort of your home. So I, I don't know. Anyways, uh, they had this one there for twenty-four fifty, and it was not the best condition cover at all whatsoever. Uh, the plastic itself was ripped. The cover was really, really bad and sun faded. Um, from what I could tell, I mean, it was like in really rough shape. And again, it's one of those. Uh, sorry about the glare. Uh, not for resale. So I don't know how one store tells me they can't sell me this because it says not for resale. And yet they can sell me this well to me for five because I got lucky but yet you know it says not for resale and yet they can put slap a $24.50 price on it just goes to show you how greedy these stores have gotten it's like you know this was supposed to be a free item if you got the GameCube uh, I don't know some special deal and they gave you these games for free you know they were free you didn't have to you know you bought the system and they gave you the game for free and now they're trying to sell games that are not for resale you know, not for resale not for resale but yet they want you know 25 bucks for a game that looks like crap <laughs> so i don't know um other than that i mean that's all like i i got this week um didn't have that much luck as far as at the uh swamp meet I did find a couple of titles that I really wanted to pick up, but people wanted 10 bucks, you know, for either incomplete or kind of messed up games. And it's like, come on, you know, 
to swap me if you guys have brought used stuff and you guys want again ebay prices it's like might as well just put it on ebay stop paying your 45 dollar fee that you pay to get that one parking spot to put your stuff for sale and not sell anything because you want 20 40 dollars a game so that's my thought on that you know a little small rant but anyways had a lot of good pickups this week uh hopefully we can do that group hunt uh hopefully that the people that want to join in can come and you know just have fun with the hunt so um that's it guys kind of late really tired as always and uh see you guys on the next hunt laters